attending UC Santa Cruz this fall. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm going to go to UC Berkeley. Hi, I'm Ayana, and I go to Mercy High School. Wrote stuff about trending. We'll think about what the trends are right now. We don't want this website to look like something from 10 years ago. We want it to feel fresh and modern. Um, we'll think about things like technology, which Adam will talk about later. How's the website actually going to work? And we'll, we'll boil all this down into a few directions. We've just put four on the screen here, but for this project in particular, we did many more than this. And we'll go through many rounds of showing the client, asking them what they think, They'll tell us what they like and what they don't like. We'll go back, we'll change it, we'll show them again. So it's a very back and forth process until they finally pick a style that they're happy with. Just a question of like, how are you going to overcome that challenge? And every one of us has different challenges and everyone approaches it differently. So I think probably every different is equally challenging, I would imagine. Well, and it's, it's different every time. That might be the hardest part for me is that you never know what the next problem is going to be. I work on another project and they're not nice. And then, so that becomes the difficult part. And then you might work on another project and you have problems with people that you're, you're working internally with. So it's, it's kind of different every time. You never know exactly what it's going to be like. So there's a little bit of uncertainty. And it's always new. Like all the technologies, like when, when are we doing iPad apps, you know, the iPad hadn't even come out and we're trying to work on this. So that's a challenge. I put my work out there and people are critiquing it, like my internal team members, mm -hmm. the client, and you know, I just have to be okay in myself and have the confidence that like, yes, I am a good designer, I didn't have to think of the exact right answer the first time around, because when I first started in this field, I put something out, and the client would say, there's this and this and this wrong with it, and I would be devastated, mm -hmm. because I hadn't solved it, you know, the right time, but now I'm understanding, like, I can't possibly come up with all the answers myself, and it's okay, and with design, you iterate and iterate and iterate, but everybody's got their own personality-based problem, and so that was kind of what I'm trying to overcome to be more effective. Learning from each of you guys is going to make you a more well-rounded person. I had like 10 jobs throughout high school and college and switched majors twice and switched colleges a couple of times too. I took radio programming and production even though I'm not in radio anymore, but it's all helped me in some way, shape, or form. So I don't think any experience is a waste of experience. The best way to become more connected to people that are in the job industry that you're looking at is to meet more people in the profession. <laughs> and it's just, I mean, like for me, you know, my first job was done, was gotten through a, a, a prior through a college professor. I've gotten, you know, jobs or internships or interviews with friends. And so it doesn't necessarily have to be an actual professional connection and that it's like somebody that you work with. It could be anybody that knows you personally. It could be these people. It could be the first graduate people that have mentored you and have known you for a long time and can vouch for you as a human being. Um, and if you do see an opportunity like this and there's a bunch of links of people that you're actually not directly connected to, LinkedIn is a great place to just reach out and say, hi, you know, I'm, I'm entering this industry and I'm graduating college and I would love an informational interview. Or I would love to just, you know, 